Hi, this is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. It's Saturday, it's not yard selling, and I'm exhausted. I'm gonna go yard selling, but look at that. You can see all the way from one side of the shop to the other. I got some stuff moved, mostly. Big grinder's outside now. I'm going to run the electrical up above here and down through here, and I'll put an outlet there. I'll have the outlet on the inside. I'll just take the cord around here. But I can cover this. My garbage cans will sit in front of it so you won't be able to see it. And this eliminates the dust issue caused by it. So yeah, worked out well. You got the welding positioner in the back. And uh, what else got back there? Oh, the two-wheel bandsaw in the back on a covered porch and it's covered in oil so tomorrow the uh that's going outside and the turret lathe and a few other things all under cover but enough about that you came here for yard sale stuff so today i spent 25 35 40 56 80 bucks so I'll start right here Parts cleaner for 25 bucks. The pump runs. It's bigger than my safety clean one right there. So I don't know if it's going to replace it. And actually, my parts washer might also end up on the back porch. But then it'll freeze. So we'll see. Now that I have more room, I wasn't going to pass it up for 25 bucks. If I don't end up using it, I know I can find a buddy or someone who will. I'll probably give it to you. Better I'll swap out the other one. So yeah. Then start over here. For five bucks. Yeah, I didn't have much. Thought this was interesting. It's American made. But it's uh screwdrivers. And a few torx bits. A broken screwdriver and a punch. You know, for a dollar. Picked it up. Is that a Leatherman? So I picked it up. And a chainmail glove. If you didn't know, that's for, uh, you know, meat cutters. I just got that because I, I thought it was cool. Oh, there's one other thing I'll show you. I don't know why I bought it. I mean, it regret buying it but so i actually spent a hundred bucks so i'll show you that at the end okay for 10 bucks got this adele's plumbers and steam fitters guide cool book it's a nice shape a bunch of useful information this is press tool i'm sure I'll, it's a crimper I'm sure i'll never use it but look at that thing this is incredibly well made and cool. So for five bucks, I picked it up. Now this box here. Okay, we'll do another yard sale. I got this for 15 bucks and this for five. As you know, I've been sorting stuff. These are all made in USA storage bins. There's probably 20 or 25 in there, probably at least 20. So that was a super awesome. And then a lot of people around looking at tools and no one bought this. So for, let me bring it up here. 15 bucks. I got this. Not that I needed it. But it's a pretty much brand new uh Craftsman micrometer set. It's got the standards in here. So one through four. Got the wrench. Another standards under the paper there. Yeah, these things have no use on them whatsoever. So I don't need any more micrometers. There's no way I was going to pass that up. So that was a cool find. Especially given that yard sale. All the rest of it was like dishes and stuff. 
Okay, then for 20 bucks, put a bunch of stuff in a box, and have the bulk price, and go through this. And a couple more of these small grease guns. These are handy to have. They don't have a very high selection of greases you can get for them. I keep them for doing, I keep different motor greases in there. Got this for my little torch. Get stuff like this and this green camping propane stuff. They're always free or like a dollar. Picked up a, a rigid pipe wrench. It's an okay shape. It's a Brinkin cotton clamp vise. Again, it wasn't 10 bucks. Everything in this box was 20. And one of these sets. It's American made. Cool. We're gonna leave a proto wrench laying. There's a SK metric. I'm trying to get more metric wrenches. I don't have very many. There's a Thorson. Now, I think this kind of hammer has a name with this longer snout on it. If you know, let me know. It's in pretty good shape, so I threw it in the pile. I've got two. This is a Stan Sport a slag hammer. That's what I'm going to use it for in the east wing. Pretty good shape. Now this nut driver is a K&M palm grip. It has a drive on the back, so I thought that was cool. Oh, I got some more of these. This one's split. It's no good. These are often split here or they're bent from people putting them on something and reefing over on them. I still like them. Got a Sears pocket stone always buy stones there's a lufkin 50 foot steel tape in good shape that'll be handy oh a little cutter tubing a proto impact socket a big old chisel yeah, not the best for 20 bucks, but definitely, you know, it's worth it. I'll show you the other thing I bought. Mm. I hemmed and hawed over it for a while before I bought it. I bought this. Sunbeam twin blade. Oh. Lawnmower. So it's running, it shoots out of there and there. It does work. And I don't know why I bought that. I've been trying not to bring stuff like this home, but I did. So yeah, that's today's yard sale finds. Tomorrow it's back to uh, moving more stuff in the shop. Tomorrow, the only things that will be in here are the things that are going to be in here for now. So. Very excited all the room I have now. There'll be more, but I got a lot of work. I'm probably, probably be out here till midnight tonight. I'll be up at six. And hard at it. I want to get the shop done. It, it, it's getting there. There's, it looks messy because I'm finding places for everything, but so close. So yeah, this is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.